dental hygienist looking to start their own practice, I'm a mobile dental hygienist and I love what I do. We are going through in a video series everything that you have to know to start your own mobile dental hygiene practice. Of course, it could work for other dental hygiene practices too. I just don't personally have a physical location, so I don't talk about that. But I see patients in my own home and mobile in their homes, nursing homes, offices, all of that, and I love it. So we're going through week one right now where I talk about inspiration. So why I decided to become a mobile dental hygienist, why I'm so happy that I left the dental office, why I started part-time first in the dental office so that I could still make some money because I wasn't really sure how my mobile dental hygiene venture was going to pan out, but it's the best decision ever. I work part-time making full-time money, more, more money than I could ever make at a dental office. I work for myself, flexible hours. Who could want more than that? I have no idea. <laughs> but we also talk about things you need to know to get started. Are you going to take out a business loan? How much are you going to need? You really need to decide what you're going to need versus what you want. What might be nice to have, but you might want to save the money first. Something that I do talk about is thinking about a sterilizer. Do you know another dental hygienist who is starting their own practice too? Maybe you guys can share the cost on a sterilizer, or maybe you have a dental office where you could use their sterilizer and pay them a small fee every Thursday or something. If you don't plan to see a lot of patients right away because you're just getting started. That can literally save you $20,000 right there. Maybe not 20,000, maybe 15,000, but you get the idea. I took out a $25,000 loan and I paid that all off within my first year of business because I was serious about it. I worked hard. I saw a lot of patients and I'm very successful. So I love having my own business and I love helping other dental hygienists do the same thing. So think about that. If you're thinking or looking at becoming a, a, a mobile dental hygienist, you don't really know where to get started. Start with that. Think of things you need because you're going to need to price that out. Talk to dental companies to see the prices. All of their dental catalogs don't have prices. I wish they did, but they don't really, especially if you go to look online. So you really don't know but I suggest thinking about what you need in the dental office now. Things like masks, bibs, polishing paste, certain instruments, cassettes, pouches for sterilization, or do you want to wrap? Um, do you want to purchase a uniform? Do you want to purchase a different laptop for your dental hygiene software that you plan to purchase if you want one? Do you want to go paperless or are you okay to just do everything paper for now? Are you going to accept cash first for your clients or are you going to direct bill to insurance for them? So all of these things you have to think about. We talk about all of this in week one in our mobile dental hygiene series. Definitely check it out if you're interested. It is inside the course Mobile RDH Academy where there's new videos every single week. I go through everything with you from step one to step done and having your own dental hygiene practice. I started in 2018, the best decision I have ever made. If you're looking to start your own practice, being a dental hygienist, do it here. It doesn't matter if you live in the States, if you live in Ontario, Manitoba, or wherever, if you're a dental hygienist and you're allowed, you are, you are able to, it's within your scope of practice to have your own dental hygiene practice. I can help you guys. Um, I'm passionate. I want to help you guys. I want to do whatever I can so that you not only have your own practice, but you have a successful one. I teach you guys the marketing behind it, advertising everything. So you don't have to worry about you have your own practice, but you have your own practice, but then you don't have any clients. So that's not really too much fun either. So I think I just heard my doorbell there. So sorry, guys. <laughs> That was kind of funny. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I've been a dental hygiene practice owner since 2018. I love what I do and I want you guys to love it too. So we go through everything you need to know. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.